Hi, I'm Anna with MoveSpring. Today, I'm going to walk you through creating a new custom map with the MoveSpring Racetrack Creator. With a custom map, you choose the scenes you want your users to see as they race across the racetrack. One of the first things you have to do when creating a custom map is to choose the images you want to use. Before we dive into the Racetrack Creator, we wanted to share some tips and best practices for choosing the images you will use to create your map. We suggest choosing images that will give your map continuity as your users travel across it. There are a couple of ways to do this. First, we recommend choosing similar images of the same format. We suggest using all photographs or all illustrated images so that you can tell a more cohesive story with your map. Also, choose images that have roughly the same scale. Avoid having some images zoomed in and others zoomed far out. As you can see here, our International Globe Trap map on top is entirely illustrated, while our Island Odyssey map consists of photographs. Both maps are at the same scale. Next, think about selecting images that have visual or thematic continuity. You can create one continuous map that flows fluidly from scene to scene, or you can connect visually separate scenes through a theme or a story. Looking at our sample maps again, you can see the International Globe Trot map flows seamlessly across the globe and has visual continuity. Our Island Odyssey, on the other hand, is unified with the theme of island hopping and has thematic continuity. Finally, try to use detail to make your map engaging, but avoid images that are overly busy. Too much detail will be difficult to see on a mobile device and will detract from the path. If you need or want more examples of cohesive maps, feel free to check out our racetrack library, linked with the other resources in the video description. Note that you should not create a path on your images ahead of time or add milestone markers to your images. You will add the path and the milestones if you choose to include them when you are in the custom racetrack creator. You can always test how the images will look side by side when uploading them in the creator, and you can always swap out images as needed. Now, let's head to the Racetrack Creator to make our map. The Racetrack Creator is accessible from the Challenges tab in the Admin Center. Once you've opened the Racetrack Creator, select Edit to choose a racetrack type. Today, we'll be creating a custom map so I'll select Upload a Custom Map here. You'll see a new section popped up to ask if we want to include milestones or not. With a custom map, you have the option to either upload your own custom milestones or to turn off milestones and just use the custom map. I'll toggle off milestones for now. We'll then need to enter a racetrack name. This name will only be visible to you in the Admin Center, so choose a name that you'll remember. We'll call this racetrack, My Custom Racetrack. Save, which takes us back to the main screen. Next, select the Edit button within the Your Map section. This will take us to a page where we'll upload our map via individual scenes. As you can see here, a minimum of three scenes is required when creating a custom map. Any additional scenes are optional. The maximum number of scenes you can include is 12. We'll select the gray upload button for each scene to upload an image. Each map scene appears at 750 pixels wide 
by 872 pixels tall in the app, but you'll be able to crop the image to fit as needed. I'll crop this image to fit. Click Save and click Upload. Now, the image appears as scene one. Upload each image one at a time in the order that you want them to appear in your map. For example, scene one will show as the first panel in the map, followed by scene two, then scene three, etc. Upload each image individually until you're done. I'll go ahead and upload scene two. and scene three. If we wanted to, we would have the option to keep adding scenes until we reach the maximum of 12 scenes. Today, we'll make a map with our minimum of three scenes. Since we're finished, we'll click save to return to the main screen. Now, before we move on, you might be wondering, what if I need to edit or delete a scene I've already uploaded? We can do this by clicking the edit button within the Your Map section, just like we did before, to navigate back to our editing page. From here, simply click the edit pencil on any scene to pull up the file picker to replace the image with a new image. I've decided I want to replace this image with a new one. We can also click the trash can icon on a scene to delete it. I've decided I want to delete this image, so I'll click the icon. We'll see a warning pop up automatically that asks us to confirm that we want to delete the scene from our map. Click yes, delete to remove the scene. Note, when you delete a scene, the other scene numbers will adjust. For example, since we deleted scene two, what was scene three previously has now become scene two to fill the empty slot. Now, we don't have enough scenes to meet our minimum requirement of three scenes. Let's go ahead and upload a new image for scene three. We'll click save to save our changes and we'll move on. When you're finished uploading your map images, it's time to pick a path. Select this second edit button here to select a path. Scroll horizontally to view each path option. Select a path to preview how it will appear on your custom map. Select Save once you've picked the path that you would like to use. For this map, we decided not to include milestones. Since we're done uploading our map and selecting a path, we're done and we can go ahead and publish our racetrack. If you're using milestones, your next step would be to upload your custom milestones. You can check out our video on uploading milestones to your map, linked in our resources in the description. We hope that this video helps you as you create your own custom virtual racetrack. If you have additional questions, please visit help.movespring.com. From all of us here at Movespring, Happy stepping!